After Justin Herbert graduated from Oregon and became the Rookie of the Year in the NFL for the Chargers, many wondered who would become the next star quarterback for the Oregon Ducks. Naturally, former four-star recruit and high school star Tyler Shuck was seen as the future of the program, and everyone, including myself, was excited to see what he could do. After an up-and-down season in 2020, though, Shuck decided to leave Oregon and enter the transfer portal. As of this afternoon, Shuck will be headed to the Big 12 and will be the next quarterback for Matt Wells at Texas Tech. With Alan Bowman leaving the Red Raiders, they needed a new quarterback, and combine that with Matt Wells' really hot seat right now, Shuck could be the savior of Texas Tech football. Today we'll briefly talk about the rise of Shuck, his time at Oregon, and what he brings to the table for the Red Raiders. But first, if you love college football, please be sure to subscribe, give the video a like if you want to support what I'm doing on YouTube, suggest what I should do next, and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I upload. Now let's get started and talk about Tyler Shuck. Tyler Shuck has always been a good football player, and scouts have always seen him as a quarterback with a pretty high ceiling. One of his past family members actually helped build Oregon Stadium, and it may have just been a coincidence, but when Shuck eventually would blossom into a high school football star, he would eventually choose the Oregon Ducks. But we gotta rewind a little bit, because before that, he was originally a North Carolina football commit. He was a four-star recruit and ended up being a Duck at the end of the day, so things were headed in a good direction for him. He came into Oregon as a backup to Justin Herbert and redshirted his first year after appearing in three games. In his second year, he played in a couple of games as well, but was seen as the guy after Herbert. He would of course have to beat out Boston College transfer Anthony Brown and blue chip recruits Jay Butterfield and Kale Millen for the starting job in 2020. At the end of the day though, Shuck was the guy who came out, and he was with the first team players when the season began. He completed 63.5% of his passes for 1,559 yards, 13 touchdowns and 6 interceptions, and he did lead the Ducks to the Pac-12 championship because Washington football had issues. He'd also helped them get matched up with Iowa State in the Fiesta Bowl, but by that time, he was no longer the guy behind the center. Brown was able to come back, and many think that he will win the job going into 2021. So because of that, Shuck decided to enter the transfer portal, and he'd be able to go to another Power 5 school, and he would definitely be able to be a starter. This afternoon, it was announced that he'd be headed to Texas Tech to be the quarterback there, and he should be able to start right away. Yes, they have four-star freshman Baron Morton and Henry Columbi, but Shuck is a lot better than him, more experienced than Morton, and I think is the guy that Matt Wells needs to save his job. Last year, Texas Tech went 4-6 and six and could have easily went 5-5 five and five had they not messed up that Texas game, but his seat is a little bit hot right now, and he needs to take a risk on a guy who has a high ceiling, and I definitely think that Shuck is the answer for him. Alan Bowman was seemingly there forever and started on and off over the last three seasons, but he could never stay healthy and he ultimately entered the transfer portal himself and he has yet to find a school. So what does Shuck bring to the table for Texas Tech you may be asking? Well the best part about him is that he's very accurate and he was very efficient as he was the most efficient quarterback in the Pac-12 last year and despite the drop off in production and statistics by the end of the 2020 season, Shuck is a good quarterback and will have the ability to change the Texas Tech offense. At 6'5", he is a guy who is tall and has all the potential to develop into a star and even an NFL quarterback down the road. They fired their offensive coordinator David Yost after last season and brought in former Red Raider quarterback himself, Sonny Cumbie, and we should be in for a new style of Red Raider football offense in 2021, and personally I'm really excited. When I saw that Shuck entered the transfer portal, I had no idea where he was going to go. I definitely knew he was Power 5, but I was worried he was going to go down to maybe the Mountain West or something like that. But I'm happy to see him go over to Texas Tech, and I think he has the ability to win the job right away and be one of the better quarterbacks they've had this decade. Texas Tech football has really struggled over the last few seasons, and Matt Wells is seemingly a little bit in over his head, but this is his last year to really prove himself, and I'm definitely curious to see how Shuck's going to play and how this Texas Tech team develops throughout the season. What do you guys think though? If, if you're a Texas Tech fan, are you excited for Tyler Shuck to get to the program? And if you're an Oregon fan, what did you think of his time there? I also want to know how you think Tyler Shuck will fit and if he will even win the job to begin with. Let me know all of that down in the comment section and be sure to give the video a like if you want to support college football news here on YouTube as the channel has been down this month and I need your guys' help to get it back up. If you're new, of course, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload. And check out all my other videos on the end screen and down in the comment section below. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.